pause the video and try to add these two rational expressions. Okay, I'm assuming you've had a go at it. Now we can work through this together. So the first thing that you might have hit when you tried to do it is you realize that they have different denominators. And it's hard to add fractions when they have different denominators. You need to rewrite them so that you have a common denominator. And the easiest way to get a common denominator is you could just multiply the two denominators, especially in a case like this where they don't seem to share any factors. The, both of these are about as factors as you can get and they don't share anything in common. And so let's set, let's set up a common denominator. So this is going to be equal to, it's going to be equal to something, let's see, it's going to be equal to something over our common denominator. Let's make it, let's make it 2x, let me do this in another color. So we're gonna make it 2x minus 3 times 3x plus 1, times 3x plus 1, and then plus, plus something else over 2x minus 3, 2x minus 3, times 3x plus 1, times 3x plus 1, and so to go from 2x, to go from just a 2x minus 3 here in the denominator to a 2x3 times 3x plus 1, we multiply the denominator by 3x plus 1. So if we do that to the denominator, we don't want to change the value of the rational expression. We'd, have, we'd also have to do that to the not numerator. So the original numerator was 5x, using that blue color. So the original numerator was 5x. And now we're going to multiply it by the 3x plus 1. So times 3x plus 1. Notice I didn't change the value of this expression. I multiplied it by 3x plus 1 over 3x plus 1, which is 1 as long as, as long as 3x plus 1 does not equal 0. So let's do the same thing over here. Over here, I have a, <clears throat> over here I have a denominator of 3x plus 1. I multiplied it by 2x minus 3. So I would take my numerator, which is negative 4x squared, and I would also multiply it by 2x minus 3. 2x minus 3. Let me put parentheses around this so it doesn't look like I'm subtracting 4x squared. And so then I can rewrite all of this business as being equal to, well, in the numerator, in the numerator, I'm going to have 5x times 3x, which is 15x squared, 5x times 1 which is plus 5x. And then over here, let me do this in green. Let's see, I could do 4x times 2, negative 4x times 2x, which would be negative 8x squared. And then negative 4x times negative 3, which is plus 12x squared. Did I do that right? Negative, Oh, let me be very careful. Negative, negative four, I, my spider sense could tell that I did something shady. In fact, if you want to pause the video, you could see, you could try to figure out what I just did that's wrong. So negative four x squared times two x is negative eight x to the third power. Negative eight x to the third power. And then negative four x squared plus times negative three is 12 x squared. And then our entire denominator our entire denominator, we had a common denominator now, so we were able to just add everything, is 2x minus 3, 2x minus 3 times 3x plus 1, times 3x plus 1. And let's see, how can we simplify this? So this is all going to be equal to, let me draw, make sure we recognize it's a rational expression. And so let's see, we can look at, we can, we, our highest degree term here is the negative 8x to the third. So it's negative 8, negative 8x eight to the third power. And then we have a 15x squared, and we also have a 12x squared. We could add those two together to get a 27x squared. So we've already taken care of this. We've taken, create, let me do that in the green color. So we've taken care of this, taken care of those two, and we're just left with a 5x. So plus 5x, and then all of that is over 2x minus 3 times 3x plus 1. 3x plus 1. And we are, and we are all done. It doesn't seem like there's any 
easy way to simplify this further. You could factor out an x out of the numerator, but that's not going to cancel out with anything in the denominator. And it looks like we are all done.